Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the next edition of Wine Country TV and the new Casarinas restaurant. My name is Simon. And my name is Pup. Hello, Pup. Hi, Simon. Pup, big news. May. May you what, Simon? May. Around oh. Hermitage, May 2017. Huge. Big May, Simon? Big May, Pup. We had the opening of Peter Drayton's brew house. Everybody was there, including the local member. Free beer, Simon? And good beer too, Pup. Made with filtered rainwater, straight from the tanks. That's why it's so good, but I actually don't drink beer, Simon. But you do drink wine, Pup. I do. And black tea at the high tea. Well, it did start with bubbles, Simon. I have to say, the high tea was put on by the Around Hermitage Social Committee, even though we don't officially have an Around Hermitage Social Committee. Well, are you on the unofficial committee, Pup? No, I'm a friend of the committee committee and I'm a member of one. So you're on the unofficial friend of the unofficial social committee? Yes, Considering that it was organised by a committee that doesn't exist. I hear it was a huge success. It was fantastic. We raised over $8,000 for cancer research. And, Pup, I heard you were a model? Yes, we were modelling for Gianna and Gianni's Conti Moda collection of scarves and lovely new bags. To the lovely old bags that are there on the day. No wonder you have no friends, Simon. I'd love to have been there to see that. <laughs> well, I'm certainly not giving up my day job, Simon. You have a day job? Mm. Managing the gardener. Oh, I hear your gardener is absolutely spectacular. There are some problems. Then there was the Hunter Valley Wine, Food and Film Festival, Pup. Is that the wolf? Yes. Mm -hmm. Kicking off with the lantern walk. I think it was more of a walk off, Simon, and was there a lantern? Pup, I do the jokes. It's in my contract. <laughs> really? How many zeros have you got in your contract? Moving on. Mm -hmm. Then at Peter Drayton's, we had Flickerfest in the Vines. The best of Australian shorts. I didn't see anybody in shorts, Simon. Well, Colin Peterson wasn't there, Pup. Oh, that's why. But there was wine. Some lovely around hermitage wines and bubbly. Really? Wombat bubbly. Wombat bubbly. Yes. And Pup, to finish off Big May, it was actually mm -hmm. huge May, the red carpet premiere of The Life of Brian. Wine, sunshine, passion, and 57 years of compost at the pre-reopening of Casarina's restaurant. And there were some lovely around Hermitage wines and bubbles, Simon. What bubbles were they? Oh, let me say, wombat, oh, Simon. Oh, they're bloody good, Should aren't they? Should we drink to wombat, Absolutely. Simon? Here we go. Just Cheers. Cheers. I love those bubbles. So, what was the response to the life of Brian? Wine Country TV sent out its number one Roving reporter. Night of the Life of Brian movie. What you thought of the food? What you thought of the movie generally? Oh, the movie was fantastic. It really was. Everyone thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, not quite what they expected, I don't think. <laughs> Excellent night. It's thoroughly enjoyed by everyone there. I think there are lots of stuff there that we we never knew about Brian. The whole exercise started as a promotion for around Hermitage, just where we all live, of course. I think it was Vicky who came up with the idea of talking to Brian. But grigging about it all. Next thing we know, we've got a production bigger than Quo Vardis. <laughs> Everybody was totally overwhelmed on the night. We had visitors from Sydney with us. They thought we live in another world up here. <laughs> we do. And we do, yeah. I thought it was a fantastic night. Food was amazing. The movie itself was amazing. A lot of things I never knew about Mr. Brian McGuigan. It was quite fascinating and especially my favourite part of the night was learning that he was the assistant winemaker to Mr. Max Schubert. It's amazing to find out what you know about a lot of these a lot of these living legends that are here in The Hunter. I thought it was an absolutely fantastic night. I'd love to do it again. It was a great movie. It was a great company. The food was unbelievably good. It was um, great to see Casuarina back and uh, the wines were magnificent. Uh, the beer was okay. I thought the beer was apparently outstanding. Good, good. No, but, uh, <laughs> but the show itself was just fantastic. It was so, so great to see what uh, Brian and Fade have achieved. And there's lots of things in that movie that a lot of people had absolutely no idea of, and I was one of them. And so you're thinking that you'd like to see it rerun again? I, I suppose like the real life of Brian movie, you can see it over and over and over again. <laughs> um, I've probably seen the original about 20 times, and every time you see it, you see something new in it. And I'm sure this life of Brian would be almost the same. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it again. He's actually not the Messiah, <laughs> although we all thought he was. He's actually just a naughty boy. <laughs> well done. That was a fabulous night. I think it shows what Neil and you and Simon were able to do. Everyone on our table enjoyed themselves, including George. It was a fabulous night. The food was terrific. The wine was uh, excellent. I noticed there were some awesome bubbles. In fact, I think all the fuzzy went. <laughs> it did. <laughs> <laughs>
I wonder why. <laughs> I think you were drinking it. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Ian? And I think anyone who watched that would have gained some information that shows what he has contributed to the valley. Warm them up all right. It, uh, it didn't take much to warm them up. It really opened my eyes to the history of Brian and so much around the valley here. It, uh, it filled in a lot of questions. Wonderful. And the hosts, they were pretty good too. I really enjoyed the evening. I didn't know what to expect, but it was just a super evening. The film was just unbelievable. The quality of the interviews was incredible. I think it was a significant evening because what it did was really gave a potted history of the last 45 years of what the hunt has been all about. I also thought the evening was fantastic to see the reopening of the Casuarina restaurant. That's another breakthrough for the future as well. The life of Brian was fabulous. Those memories filled that room that night. I had the time of my life. Oh my God. <laughs> and did, did he make the hunter sexy? He did, sexy and sizzle. Well, I did have to laugh at uh, Brian. He was a tad concerned about one thing or another. And then he was getting his bits and pieces together to make a thank you speech. And he said to me, what's uh, God's surname? And I, I looked at him, I thought, this must be a trick question. And I said, God's surname. And he said, you know, he said, Bob. And I said, oh, you mean God, Bob loves me. And he said, God loves me. God loves me. Oh dear, he had me going there for a moment. But for the Hunter Valley as a whole. So what about all those people that missed it, Simon? Well, that's the good news, pup, because due to popular demand, we're going to have additional screenings. The first one at the Hunter Resort. And what? More good news, because oh, we are a good I news love station. Good news. Brian and Faye will be in attendance. Oh, that's wonderful. There is a little bit of Hermitage Road wine history here, pup, because the Hunter Resort was part of the Hermitage Road winery built by Brian and also Ken Bray in the 1970s. And so will that be the White Shag premiere, Simon? Did you ever do White Shag in the 70s, pup? I was more into luxury vinyl, Simon. Well, maybe you should also have the luxury vinyl premiere. <laughs> Find my court platform. This could go on all year. Could do. What are we going to do next year, Simon? You can't get bigger than Brian. Well, we are. What, bigger than Brian? Yes, Pup. How? Bigger than Brian. Are you getting a little excited? I'm so excited, Pup. My toes are erect. Oh, my God. You may need to see someone about that, Simon. I don't know what, I don't know who, and I don't know that I need to know. Everyone will have to wait until our next Wine Country TV news desk to find out what that will be. About your erect toes? No, Pup. Next year's festival's feature film. In the meantime, we have the official, as opposed to the unofficial or the pre, opening of Casarina's restaurant. To give us a little history of Casarina's is Bob, <gasps> our wine country time machine keg. Love Bob. Everybody loves Bob. We do. We all love Bob. We do love Bob. Bob. Casarina began its life in the late 60s as the home of that rather colourful vigneron and entrepreneur Jock McPherson. The house was designed in a modern, big and bold style of the 60s. Big enough for a restaurant, Ian Scarborough observed on his first visit. He also noticed that the guest bedrooms had no doors. But of course, it was the 60s. McPherson also formed a cooperative to produce wine. In the late 60s and early 70s, they planted 10 vineyards. Quite a few of the vines are still producing today. These include the vineyards around the Casarina restaurant, Kembray's famous Braymore block and the Gabriel Paddock block and what is known as Bimbajan Estate, housing the country's most innovative winery when it first received fruit for the 1975 vintage. Of course, the main history of Casarina revolves around that great character and one of the first celebrity chefs of the new food and wine boom Peter Meyer. My philosophy in food is the greatness of food lies in its simplicity. From the flames of the Fombe trolley lighting up the dimly lit room and its unique accommodation which included sweets such as Casablanca, Palais Royal and the French Bordello Chamber. It was the 80s. While Casharina became known as one of the finest regional restaurants in the country, its darkened atmosphere 
may have something to do with the fact that it grew almost organically. Well, it was out in the middle of the bush on Hermitage Road and no one noticed. Peter Meyer and Team Casharina were great hosts and friends of many grape growers and famous winemakers. Casharina was the place to entertain, the place for great lunches and dinners. May the legend of Casharina continue. I'm delighted to introduce this afternoon the new owner of Casarina's restaurant, all the way recently from Vietnam, <laughs> Dallas Rose Kelly. Tell us about Casarina's restaurant, why you've bought it and why you've decided to reopen. Well, it's certainly been an interesting journey the last uh, 18 months where we've acquired the property and learned an incredible amount about the history of this restaurant. It became obvious we needed to bring back the famous flambés and the people that were associated with the property previously, such as Chef here, Michael Watson. We certainly had a fantastic reception here with the, the Life of Brian premiere. Yeah, it was wonderful and it was incredible to have the people that were here and compliments that they showed with what they experienced. And, you know, our challenge is to, to try and meet what the, the history has shown already within the property and within the restaurant. and try and bring a new form of culture that will match with that, but also see if we can even try and improve on that. Well done, you're on the way. Thank you very much and uh, we appreciate it. Thank you, Dallas. Pop, it's now time for the weather report. Oh my. We have Tradie Steve today. Hi. Hi, Pop. He's holding my bottle for me. Now, it's a very accurate report today. There's no rain, so the bottle's very dry. No leaks, it's good. No, that's, it's always a good thing. There's no wind, it's very still, isn't it, Steve? Sure is. And there's certainly no snow. It's not white. So the weather report is, again, very accurately brought to you by Chrisford's Reserve Wine. Thank you very much for the Around Hermitage weather report. Pop, thank you very much for the weather My report. My pleasure. Even though it was indoors and it was a complete waste of time. Quite correct, It though. was quite entertaining. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Dallas. Thank you, thank you Dallas. Very thank you, Michael. Yay, Michael. Smells sensational. Absolutely. I know you can't smell it. Bad luck. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Oh, I love Bob. Thank you, Pup. Oh, it's okay. Thank you, Steve. Steve! Thanks, Pup. Anybody else? Neil. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, Neil. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. Thank you, Neil. What about me? No, I've already thanked you. Oh, okay. That's enough. That's Cheers. 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 Thank you, fabulous. Cheers. To Around Hermitage and Dallas. Good luck. Cheers. I can do anything. I can reach any goal today I can do what I want I can be 